Yo, what's up guys? In this quick and simple tutorial, you will learn how to make these really cool looking twirl burst animations in After Effects. And yeah, as I said, they are super simple, so I'd say let's just go right into it. So let's go to a new composition and first of all, of course, let's right click in here and make a new shape layer. Just like this. And now let's go on this little setting here and activate the proportional grid so we can see where the center of our animation is. And then let's go upwards to the tool settings and select the pen tool and let's just make a line a little bit right to the center like here and then let's just go more to the right and press shift so it's a straight line just like this so now we have this one line and we already can deactivate the proportional grid and yes yeah, you can see it's a bit thin and not animated so let's change that and open up the shape layer and yeah, now we can just open up the stroke setting and bring this up to something like, I don't know, 50 maybe, or 11. And yeah, this looks good, but let's animate this. So we can also go to add right here, this little button, and add a trim paths effect. Just like this, open this up. And now make sure that you are at the beginning of your animation and bring the end down to zero. Just like this, and put in a keyframe. And then we can go forward like one and a half seconds and bring this up to 100 again. And yeah, now we can see it's a bit slow and doesn't look like an explosion at all. So let's open up the graph editor with this little button here and press the, yeah, the end thing again. And now we can click the easy ease setting here so we can actually yeah, change the line a bit. And now we can also press V on the keyboard to go back to our mouse setting. And yeah, now let's just click the first keyframe and bring this up a bit. So what this does is it will be really fast at the beginning and then slow down just like this. And yeah, as you can see, this looks more like a little explosion. But we don't want this line to just stay, we want it to vanish. So let's also animate the start. And we can go to the beginning, but not exactly to the beginning, a little bit to the right, just like in here, and put in a keyframe at start and then just go to the end, exactly to the end, and bring this to 100. And now we can see, this is a really smooth looking line, which just yeah appears and then disappears. But it's just one, and of course we want, as we can see, multiple of these. So yeah, but this is super simple. So let's go to our little add button again, and add the repeater effect. And yeah, as you can see, not much changes, but yeah, it will very soon. So first of all, by default, there is 100 in this position setting and let's bring this to zero because we don't want the position to be affected. But we can go to rotation and put in something like 60 degrees in here. And now we can see, yeah, they are rotated by 60 degrees, but of course we want six copies. So let's just put in six in the copy setting. And now we can see we have this really cool looking burst animation and we can just yeah, hide this and maybe scale it down a bit by pressing S on the keyboard because now it was a bit big, just like this. And yeah, I think this looks super cool. Of course, you can maybe increase the stroke wideness a little bit for this one. Let's put in 15 in here or even 20. Yeah, but the cool effect will just come because we will make the this twirl thing. And yeah, this one is basically, it's just named twirl in the effects tab. It's under distort if you want to find it. And yeah, we can just apply this one on our shape layer. And yeah, now we can just um, yeah play with the angle a bit. And we can see it will twirl a lot. So you can just find whatever you like basically. I'll just go with something like 90 maybe or 60. And you can also yeah, just play around with a few settings here, but I'll just leave it at 30 for the radius. And yeah, now we can see this is super cool. And of course you can just select this layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, play around with the scale and just move them a bit. Or maybe if, if we want to do this, we have to pre-compose this. So let's pre-compose this real quick and duplicate this. And now we can just scale it around a bit and move it and maybe even move it on the timeline so they start not equally. But yeah, now you have basically as many of these super cool looking 
fill animations just like this let's play around with these and yeah i think this looks super cool and yeah i'd say see you next time <laughs>